Carolina pig sandwich is great. I really like it. I love that, that fresh crunch you get from the coleslaw. And the coleslaw, Vans coleslaw. Um, this is a unique recipe. You guys make this fresh every day, right? Yes, sir, we do. We make it in every store. Any chance we can see how you guys put this together? Well, yeah, let's go. Can I finish my sandwich? Oh, that's a great idea. All right. Okay, so we're back in the secret recesses of this particular Vans pig stand with Kenny. Kenny, how you doing today? All right. You ready to make some coleslaw for us? I'm ready. I've been doing it for quite a while. That's all I've ever done is cook for a living. So really, it's like you and Cabbage have kind of a relationship. <laughs> if you want to call it that. We gotta soak it to get the dye off of it. If you didn't soak the, the cabbage yeah. and the carrots to get the color out, it would look old. old. Yeah. We're ready to take those and get them chopped up, right? Yeah, put them through the buffalo chopper. Now, one of the things I'm noticing is you guys cut your coleslaw up. It's it's pretty big, chunky pieces of coleslaw, right? Yes, yeah, sir. It's kind of one of those signature things. It's not like coleslaw you find elsewhere with those little tiny pieces. Okay, so now we're making the trip over with the carrots to the uh, the vegetable spa again. Now, will this be a cold water bath as well? Yes, it will. You know, that really makes me kind of misty-eyed because I really start thinking about, you know, that scene in Titanic where, you know, the Jack and Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet are on that floating in the ice cold water. Yeah. You know he dies in that movie, right? I've heard about the unique method you use to get the salad dressing out of these jars. I hate scooping the last bit of mayonnaise out of a jar, but you've come up with a technique that makes this go quickly. Yes, I do. I just cut the bottom out and then unscrew the lid and it pushes it right out. Lemon juice, sugar. I don't know, that doesn't look like enough sugar to me. Celery seed, some cans of uh, evaporated milk. I gotta tell you, it's a manly kind of coleslaw. Big old chunks, that's right. None of those little bitty pieces. Barbecue without coleslaw, not a visit to a barbecue restaurant. No, slaw and barbecue, it goes hand in hand. Absolutely, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.